Now here with us now, uh, it's a man I know you're all gonna recognize. He truly needs no introduction, so give him a big welcome to our stage. Greetings. Greetings, America. Wow, is it good to see you. You are the great, great American people who love our country. You're so fantastic. Okay. And it's great to be with Mike, huh? You are the Huckabeans, I like to call you. And it's so fantastic to be with you. How many of you love America here? I love you, I love you. And are there anybody in the house that loves Donald Trump? Is there anybody? I love it. We're gonna do a lot of great things today. I think it's gonna be so fantastic. How do you guys like what's going on down in Arizona? Yeah. The, yeah? It's so fantastic. Maricopa. Maricopa County. Yeah. Right? They're counting up the vote to see if it'll float. Maricopa, Maricopa County. The rumors are floating, dead people are voting in Maricopa. We'll see who won, okay? We're gonna know pretty soon, so fantastic. And Mike, I love you. I love everything you've ever done in, in America. You know, you are the great governor from the state of Arkansas. Yes. But I've got, a, I've got something I've got to find out. It's something I've always wondered about ever since I was a little boy. Why is it pronounced Arkansas, but it's spelled Arkansas? It's pronounced Arkansas, but it's spelled Arkansas. There's an S where there should be a W. Where's the W? Where's the W, ladies and gentlemen? Here I am. Well, good to see you. Trey, catch this. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you guys. Wow. So great to be with you. It's so great to have the privilege of hanging out with some like-minded people. You know, our, our president just hung out over in Europe there for a little while with the G7. If they, they added one more country, they... They could have said, gee, we got a G8. <laughs> oh, so funny. You know, he boogered up some of his words, but I understand that. <laughs> you know, sometimes I, I'm told that my vernacular is not quite up to speed. And, uh, and I was watching the president, and I was kind of concerned for him and all, and I thought, gee whiz, he's making me look like Ronald Reagan. <laughs> he's absolutely... Absolutely fantastic. But you know, I took a trip over to uh, the Green Zone right after 9-11. We uh, had an opportunity to go over there and encourage the troops, eat a little turkey with the boys, and to prove to America that George Bush does not have arachnophobia. <laughs> That's right. It was scary. It was Thanksgiving, a moonless night. We flew under the cover of complete darkness. No running lights, no landing lights. We had to feel our way in. <laughs> I won't say we hit anything when we landed, but Laura and I got new camel hair coats out of the deal. <laughs> and while we were there, I made sure and I got out and went for a jog so when I came home, I could tell Laura I went to Iraq and Iran. <laughs> Well, folks, it's so good to be here with you. I tell you, protect your freedom of speech. Be vocal. Pray for America. Pray for your kids. And to everybody, happy Father's Day. God bless you. I know everybody thinks that they just saw Donald Trump and George W. Bush, but it's actually John Morgan, comedian 
and great friend. John, great to have you here. Thank you. You've got an album coming out, I believe, called yes. uh, America, My Brother and Me. Tell yes, us about that. Yes, well, I was a singer-songwriter because before I ever became an impersonator, and I'm continuing to do that. And this new music video, America, My Brother and Me, is about harmony. It's about mm. e pluribus unum. <laughs> Yeah, we have so much of that going on in America right now. Well, you can keep up with John at his website, John C. Morgan. That's johncmorgan.com. Or you can also follow him on social media, all on your screen. He's got an inspiring video on his YouTube channel for the title track for the new album that we just talked about, America, My Brother and Me. I hope you'll go and check it out.